Hello. How you doing? Yes, I know. Bright's next month, but I like my button. Queer all year. <laughs> anyway, this is today's going to the grocery look. I used the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay Two Cider. I've had people had people diss this thing, and some people love it. And it's somebody make up my mind. I happen to like it. And the look is holding up even in the 82 degree weather that I had to go through from the car to the house. For me, that's a great deal. Anyway, I figured I'd check in and see how things were going. I didn't get anybody telling me what they thought of all of these indie brands going tits up. What's up? <clears throat> anyway, I keep seeing things that people are buying because I follow some of you guys a lot. And I'm going, I don't think I would ever want at this point to go back to chasing the next new thing to see if anybody else liked it. It's like I have pretty well killed my my large collection. I'm down to just a few palettes and a few pieces here and there and I still love playing with my makeup I still love doing looks I still love encouraging people regardless of your age or where you are if you want to wear makeup have a lovely time just go do it I mean I get more smiles at the grocery store when I do this what than I ever do when I just show up. And yeah, there are a few times I have just shown up. It was like, this is not the day. I'm running in, I'm hitting the flash food. If you haven't heard of flash food, look it up. It's stuff that's near to its sell by date. But it's not going to sit on the shelf. They put it in a special refrigerator or holding per place. And they put it up for like dirt cheap, like 50% off. You can pick what you want. They show you on your phone what's available. You pick what you want, you pay for it before you get there. You run in, tell them flash food, and they hand you your bag full of stuff. And believe me, it's been worth it. We have gotten some amazing deals. The only thing I don't like is in this particular area, you can't use a food cart. They'll let you put it in the system, but they won't let you use the food cart. Whatever. Um, some locations you can use a food cart. Yes, I'm that poor. Oh, gee. Anyway, let's see. Old man had a kidney stone. It passed ended up with a pulled muscle it's working on getting itself back together um,
My son and my grandkids are coming tomorrow. Which is just absolutely wonderful. I'm trying to put together the fun to get the two lady cats fitzed and then get the big dog fitzed. It's like I found a place that assists people with lower income but I still got to come up with 50 bucks per cat and 100 bucks for the big old dog because he's a big old dog. And right now, the older of the two kitty girls is solidly in the yow wow wow stage. And I mean, she, she was the one that was rescued and all the kittens went to other people and we took Mama Cat. And then the little kitten, her that is a bit younger, has started to rather tentatively look around and go, yeah, wow. <clears throat> what was that? <gasps> and then she goes, oh, look. Katie Cat doesn't feel good. And she goes over and grooms Katie. Well, when Katie is like feeling miserable. But then again, on another time or day, she'll like go, yeah, wow. And again, it's like, what was that? What is it? And I'm going, don't worry, kid. We're going we're gonna to get it took care of. <laughs> Animals. Love them got to take care of them. Anyhow, it's like, I guess I am picking up a few new things now and again. Very few. But I'm not going to ever go back to trying to collect a multi-million selection of foundations. Even the cheap stuff okay the cheap stuff it's like yeah I've got shop miss a AOA studio and I've got that in several different formats like the cream stick and I've got elf and I've got a small bottle of cover, excuse me, cover girl. And I got a couple of powder foundations because sometimes they just stick better in the heat. I've got one from Juvia's Place and one from Elf. Got the camo. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to run around and shuffle and like go grab up the newest and the best from Wet n Wild and go grab up the newest and the best of all of the, the um, cushion foundations. Um, as much as I think some of the cushion foundations and some of the Korean makeup is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't have A, that kind of money, and B, I don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to get back into writing. It's just me and the old man here, so we're doing all the chores. And that takes some time. And watching some of you guys take some time. It's like, and I have discovered that I really don't have 
the FOMO anymore. I don't know if it's because my bipolar problem has settled down with the new medication or what. But like I said, I still love playing with my makeup. I still have plenty of it. I've got plenty enough to keep me going for years. It's like one of the few new things that I've picked up is the bright blue elf mascara that I'm um, thank you Teresa's dad put on my lower lashes because it looks cool as a a contrast to the uppers and it's like she was doing that and I said oh that looks special so I got some and spent all of my points that I still had left and it was great and then I got some of the like invisible sunscreen from e.l.f. It's like I have this stuff for the rest of my body. The invisible sunscreen is not nearly that robust. However, I put layers and layers and layers of stuff on. I know it's not additive, but another layer is another layer. And I put my hat on to keep my face undercover. Yes, I've had my hair cut again. I got up this morning, took a shower, got out of the shower and said, screw it. Just kept doing that. Now, one of the things I have discovered is that I originally had gotten um, a sweat controller because hyperhidrosis all over the head. And it was thicker and more of a gel than a cream or lotion. And that one was recommended by Angie over at 4F Beauty. And it worked really, really, really well. But this one, this one is a thin lotion and okay, yeah, it's working. I mean, I, I do not have sweat pouring down my face, which normally I would, but it's not as not as stable and as stop at all as the other yeah because this is the other one the zero sweat the problem was when I went to order some more I wasn't able to get it in the US and I'm going not nice I don't know why it was something about some ingredient that hasn't been passed through the FDA or something and I can't get it in the US so there we go so I switched to this one because I could get it in the US It is warm out. 
it really is warm out. So what are y'all doing for summer? Are you planting anything for in, in your spring garden so you can like can it up over the summer? We're not. We don't even have the bed started. <laughs> We got so much other stuff going on that we're going to start setting the beds up <coughs> over the summer and into the fall and get them ready for next year. It's going to just have to work that way. Excuse me. Yes, I know. Some of you absolutely detest and scream and run when I have to sniffle. But if I don't sniffle, I will be turning the camera off every couple of minutes to go honk like a goose. And nobody needs to see that either. Now, like usual, most of the stuff I've got on is Elif the primers elf all of my skin care at this point is elf I've got the cleansers and the um, retinol and the exfoliator that you use a couple of times a week and the little serum and the eyelash serum and what else? Oh yeah, primer infused bronzer, which is on my face currently. Primer infused blush, which is on my face currently. Yeah, this one's called Always Rosy. The other primer infused one that I've got is Always Cheeky and there's actually a um, lipstick that I have that's called Cheeky that matches this. Most of the stuff in all the drawers are e.l.f. 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 I've got an e.l.f. setting powder, I've got my e.l.f. blotting powder, <laughs> yes we all know I love e.l.f. okay okay no this is not sponsored but I cut my stuff down to just a couple brands really I've got the AOA I've got the e.l.f. I've got one, um, no, two liquid foundations from CoverGirl. The two powder foundations, one of them from Juvia. And I've got a plethora of eye pencils that I, I do mean tons of eye pencils and lip liners and all kinds of such and I don't know who they came from some of them came in the Ipsy bags some of them I picked up because they looked cute and were cheap um, there's no telling where some of that came from it just it is that way But I'm still having fun with the makeup. Still having fun with the makeup. Wee! You know, I sat down here and was trying to think of something to talk about, and I'm going, okay. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. 
I don't care which side you are on, whose side you are on, vote this year. Just do it. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. Take pains and get up out of your chair and get your ballot out of the mailbox and then back to the mailbox. Go to the polling station. Go to the early voting. Whichever one suits you, but go vote. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious on this. Anyway, I have been having a lovely time going to the thrift stores. Please remember to go to thrift stores. Not only is it a good recycle, but you can find some amazing stuff. My best buddy was at thrift store the other day and she called and asked me if I would carry a bubble gum pink purse. And I said, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? I've got rainbow shoes. What do you want? <laughs> it's like I do rainbow eye makeup. Why would I not carry a pink purse? I can carry anything I want. And she said, well, there's one of these leather covered Vera Bradley's over here at the thrift shop for eight bucks. And I said, it's mine. <laughs> and did a little electronic transfer and I had my pink bubblegum pink Vera, Vera Bradley with lots and lots of pocket space and all kinds of stuff. And in uh, doing my own shopping, I found an absolutely beautiful condition and Klein. And then I bought one off of my my buddy because she was gonna she was actually gonna posh market, and I convinced her to just sell it outright to me. And it's a Kate Spade. I like purses. I really do. The other thing that I've found that I can get away with now that my grandson and his mama and a few other people in the house aren't always nearby, I can use perfume again. I've got one of those scent bird things that it's the only only subscription I've got for stuff now and I've got it set for like a two to three month break because I can't I, I just I don't use it enough and only getting one bottle at a time These samples are absolutely wonderful. And there's quite a bit in them. If you're not wearing scent all the time, it takes a while to get through this stuff. It's like, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bottles sitting over there in the little spray tube things. And then I've got some small bottles that I picked up from Amazon from a brand called Toka. And I got I fell in love with the scent Stella from Toka because of a little tiny Ipsy sample 
and I did minuscule little spritzes of this stuff just to hoard it. And then when we got here, they had a set of three Toka fragrances in the same series. And don't you know, I had it. <laughs> it wasn't very expensive because it's the wee little bottles that look kind of like tiny pumpkins. But it's fun. And it's something else that I can do now that we're here and the people with the allergies aren't. Okay, yeah, I miss my kid. I miss my grandkids. I miss my daughter-in-law. But we needed to be back on our own for a while. So, anybody else doing anything? Anybody want to do a collab that does not require that I have the same palette they do? Because, let me tell you, I probably don't. Especially if you've got bunches of things like Natasha Denona and ABH definitely don't have Huda. Um, I don't have any from Wayne. I don't have any Mitchell. Um, I definitely do not have anything in the upper end of the price spectrum. And like I said, I don't, I don't even have, I have not even collected Wet n' Wild. I have not recollected Wet n' Wild since they got their collective feces together about the animal testing thing. But if you want to do a, here's some colors, you have to use these colors kind of thing. Let me know. Anyway, try and stay out of trouble. There still is no bail money. Let me assure you there is no bail money. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. 